In this tutorial, I'll show you how to change the basic color scheme of the Arjuna X WordPress theme. As you can see here, it's a pretty popular theme, been downloaded a lot. Uh, and if you look at it, uh, you can see why. It's a nice theme, has some very nice rounded uh, corners all around. Simple theme, nice layout, good colors, and so forth. Uh, and if you look at the back end of it, it uh, has some nice features as well for you to uh, go in and uh, actually customize in the options area and so forth. But one of the things that you can't do a lot of is change the actual color scheme of the theme. Or at least that's what it looks like to me. I've only looked at it for a little bit. Uh, but in the header, for example, you can choose light blue or dark blue. Uh, and then you can uh, choose a footer style, again, based on light blue, dark blue, and uh, uh, do some custom CSS. This theme is very uh, heavily image based. So to change the colors a great deal, you actually need to edit the images. So that's what I want to show you how to do here. Instead of simply going from a light header background to a dark blue header background, I want to show you how to actually edit that header uh, and maybe some a couple of other images in here to change the look of the theme dramatically. And to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, uh, I did that with another theme uh, with the actual pixel theme. Uh, if you look at the standard pixel theme, uh, it's a very nice theme. It is uh, has this sort of dark background with the light sort of multicolored uh, area here. It looks really nice. Uh, but that entire look is made up of uh, one large image. And so to change that, I simply open that large image and put a color overlay and then set the opacity down so that the actual image would come through and then I could change it to any color that I wanted. So for example, uh, here when you look at some of the different pixel colors that I created, it was just a simple matter of taking that image and laying a layer over the top of it and changing the color. And so I went from the dark to a blue uh, pixel to a green, a red, a yellow, and virtually any color that you want. So you can change the look dramatically just by uh, very easily putting a color overlay. That's what I want to show you how to do uh, with this theme. Now as opposed to pixel, this theme is made up of several images. If we look at the header, for example, I'll right click there, and the header image, uh, if the dark blue JPEG, uh, is just a single image instead of being built into the entire page. Uh, so we would need to edit the dark blue JPEG or the light blue, either one, to change the header. Uh, we're going to go in and I'm going to right click in the background. Uh, is actually made up of an image as well. It's a very small one pixel uh, wide 675 pixel high image and it's a gray gradient that sort of fades out as it goes down. So we'll edit that image. So by just changing those two images in one CSS value we can go from this blue based and gray based image to something that's based on another color that you might like. So here for example I have one that I just based around red come here you can sort of see a red scheme. Just change the header, just change the background and then that faded in to these gradients that's being used for the footer. Uh, here if uh, we look at that this is sort of a, a very narrow footer gradient uh, that's being used. I could have changed that color as well if I wanted. Uh, here you have sort of a footer image that makes up the bottom of your post. It's a post footer. It's a gray line with a light gray gradient. Could have changed that as well. Uh, but I really only changed those two values and then one CSS value. So let's see how to go about doing that. So the first thing, download the theme you want to work on. I'm working on my local computer with a copy of WordPress on XAMPP, so it makes it very easy for me to edit. But what I recommend you do is on the theme that you're going to edit, uh, rename it so that it's something different in the future. You're not going to override it if you upgrade it. I'm going to go to my file manager here in XAMPP, and we'll go into... WordPress and the themes and here is the actual that's the red copy that I've already edited here is the other copy I downloaded I'm just going to rename this and we'll make one and let's say we'll do a, a um, green one so I'm just renaming the folder so that I don't override it in the future so we're going to work on Arjuna green and while I'm here I might go into that uh, folder and open the style CSS and then just at the top or the theme name, I'll call it green, so that I know what it is when I'm looking at it in my admin area. 
So now if I come back to my admin area here and refresh, notice now that's Arjuna X green. So let's go ahead and activate that. That's our active theme. Of course it's not green, it's standard. So now let's see how we make it green. In the past, in the tutorials that I've done, I've used Photoshop. And I, I like Photoshop. I have Photoshop uh, and uh, I, all my image editing with it. But I had some comments from people saying that they wanted to try to do some things that I showed in the tutorials, but they don't have Photoshop and they couldn't do it. So for this tutorial, uh, I downloaded a copy of GIMP and that's a free image editor. It's really good. I'm no GIMP expert. In fact, my uh, experience with GIMP is all of about 15 minutes. So, so the purpose of this tutorial is not to teach you how to use GIMP, but it's to show you how to use GIMP in order to do some basic editing in order to uh, edit this WordPress theme. Uh, and if you want to learn more about GIMP itself, you can just Google GIMP tutorials or go to YouTube. There's lots of really good tutorials on how to use it. But just Google GIMP and go download it. It's a free open source image editing program. Uh, really very similar to Photoshop. Uh, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but uh, it's good enough for what most people will want to do. Uh, and it's uh, actually, I'm pretty impressed uh, with it with just the 15 minutes I've been using it. Download GIMP, and then we want to open a couple of files to edit. So if we look at our WordPress site here that we want to work on, first one we want to work on is our header. And that is, if I view that image, that's in the theme folder, images, header, and it's called light blue JPEG. So let's go to our GIMP and we'll go to file and open. Go into my copy of green and it was in images, header. So let's open light blue. And here's the header. I'll just take it down to 